Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I am Henry Wong, and I am back again with some more YouTube tutorials, except this time I'm going to be doing some more Amplify iOS videos. Um, now I know that a lot of you are Power Apps fans and all that, but um, I decided, hey, I really like Amplify, and it's just what I've been working on for quite a while now for the past few months and the thing I noticed with Amplify is there are not a lot of tutorials out there for Amplify iOS SDK and you know it's such a cool framework but there just aren't that many people out there to help you with it and you know when I was learning it myself um, I tried looking up YouTube videos but there just weren't that many helpful videos on it and I thought that um, it'd be pretty difficult to learn on myself uh, by myself and it kind of was but um, I got through it and it was pretty cool so now I, I'd like to say I, I know Amplify a lot better than than uh, before um, so I thought that I could just make some YouTube videos to help you guys out on it and um, I already made one and that was initializing a project in Amplify um, you can see that in my previous YouTube video but now today I'm going to be showing you how to create user authentication in Amplify. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your own user pool for your users. So whenever people download your application and, you know, sign up, you're going to have them as a user forever, or at least until they, you know, request a delete or something, but, um, data privacy and all that. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is you're going to be able to implement a user base often, and you're going to allow them to authenticate and everything safely and securely all in just a few lines of code well not a few lines of code but many lines of code that i'm going to show you how to input into your ios application so without further ado let's get started and before we get started on the main authentication stuff uh, I just want to point out that, hey, I've got this project, Amplify Tutorials, and it actually already has Amplify con configured in it. So I'm just going to open my pod file for you guys to take a look at it. Um, if you followed my... I had a lot of mistypes there. If you followed my um, How to Configure an Amplify Project tutorial uh, that is on my profile, you probably have... Uh, Amplify pods already in there. You might also have like Amplify tools or something. Uh, Amplify slash tools, something like that. Um, but, you know, it's fine. You can just keep it in there. I just have Amplify right here. And then I also have Amplify plugin slash AWS Cognito auth plugin, which you can find in their docs. Uh, in their docs right here, right, uh, right here pod amplify plugin slash aws cognito auth plugin or you could just type it into um, what you see right here i'll just enlarge that real quick but yep that's what my pod file looks like i'll just change this to like a 13 or something doesn't really matter but um doesn't really matter but i'm just going to do that and then i'm just going to do a pod install repo update just to prove to you guys that that is my prod file and before we get started make sure you go back to your app delegate and import amplify and amplify plugins right there and then make sure you configure the actual amplify plugin uh, first make sure you add the aws cognito auth plugin right there and then configure amplify right there and then you can return true for your did finish launching with options so, yep, that's all you need to do to configure your Amplify project, and we can just get started with authentication. Um, so, yep, we're good on those pod files. Let me just clear that out real quick. So the first step you want to take is you want to Amplify add auth. Now, remember, I already Amplify inited, right? I already initialized Amplify. It's already there. But if you take a look at Amplify status, I do have absolutely nothing in my Amplify project right now. So as you can see there, I've got nothing. And it's going to take a little bit here. There we go. So now I can add Amplify add auth. And this is going to add the authentication category for you, which will allow you to have access to the AWS backend resource, which is AWS Cognito. And that's what we're going to use to pair your iOS application to your user pool, which will allow you to have authentication for your application. 
So I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that's big enough. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an application that uh, has the user pool and it's not going to have third party like Facebook, Google access, all that stuff, that those kinds of logins. I'm not going to do that. It's just going to be a regular application that you can register, sign up, sign in, forget password, stuff like that. Um, in the for, I'm probably not going to include like forget password and stuff that's going to make this video or these videos too long. Um, but if you guys are ever interested in that stuff, just let me know and I will sneak it in there somewhere um, in the future. Oh, and by the way, if you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Um, that stuff really helps me get uh, keep me going and gives me encouragement that you guys like what I'm doing. So, yeah, thanks so much, guys. Yeah, subscribing, um, watching the video, it already makes me super happy. But liking and commenting, oof, man. And commenting, you know, I can try to help you guys out or, you know, I see, I see where you guys are at at the process. So, yeah. Uh, so we're going to finish this together, this setup for the authentication plugin. So yeah, like I said, we're going to do a regular user pool, no third party stuff, and it's just going to be log in, log out. You're going to use your username to log in and they're going to have a password and they're going to have an email to recover, right? So what you want to pick is manual configuration, configuration. We're going to do the first one, which will allow AWS IAM controls. A friendly name for a resource. I just like to do the default. You guys can just name it whatever you want if you'd like. Unauthenticated logins. This is if you're like making a blog and you want people to see content even though they're not logged in. Um, you'd probably choose. Um, uh, you'd probably choose no if you don't want people to uh, see anything. Like if it's a private to do app or something like that. So I'm just gonna pick no for now. Do you want to enable third-party user authentication providers? Nope, that's like the Facebook stuff. Name for your user pool, random, I don't really care. How do you guys, how do you want users to sign in username? So um, the usernames are going to be unique, right? Uh, right there, so I'm going to click username. And do you want to add user pool groups? No, I don't. Admin queries API, nope. Multi factor authentication, and you guys can explore these options too. This is just what I'm doing. Uh, no multi factor authentication, email based registration, yep, because you know I'd like them to recover their password if they forget it. Um, this is you know the code stuff that they send to your email and what you want the email to say. You can always change that in the cognito settings. Do you want to override the default password policy? No, I do not. And the default password policy by the way is like eight characters one upper one lower one number one uh, symbol something like that um, you can check incognito if you'd like um, yep we've got all these options but I'm just gonna click email that's all I need specify the apps refresh token 30 days sure you want to specify the user attributes nope um, don't need any of this stuff. You guys can add it if you'd like. Um, and if you, you know, if you're interested in it, I'll help you guys explore it as well, but I'm just gonna, I don't need any of this, so I'm just gonna enter. OAuth flow, nope, no Lambda triggers, not for now. We are going to add one Lambda trigger though to, um, auto sign up users, because the thing with Amplify is it currently, um, this was like a big problem I ran into, uh, but it currently us uh, when you register a user it registers the user but they aren't actually a user until you confirm their email which means they have to go to their email retrieve the code and then also enter the code into your application before they're a real user and i thought that was just a hassle i, I liked it when you could just register and you're signed in instantly so um we're gonna write a quick lambda lambda function for that and we'll throw it into our cognito so okay we configured authentic authentication for amplify and now all we have to do is do amplify push so that we can push it to our back end cloud 